pushing the Lego train by hand. After a while it becomes a little bit boring for the kids too. What can we do? Add some features instead of throwing it away. Add these three interactive programmable engines, a control box and some railway switch controllers. Also let's make an application server and some marker disks. And now we have a toy you never get tired of because Build the tracks as you want, the number of variations is unlimited. Place the markers on the rails the way you want to control the trains. This is not a plotting board, there are no constraints. If you don't like something you can easily rearrange it. When the track is ready you can control the engines by the control box. Engines can go forward and backward. You can change the railway switches left and right. You can select the controlled objects by the colors. Switches and push buttons are marked by popular symbols. Hence even three year old kids can handle it and love it. The older ones can use the tablet. It also contains a graphical user interface for handheld control functions. All functions of all engines and all railway switches can be controlled. Moreover, it can show which markers the engines have passed over. And let's see the programming. It is very very easy. Here is the ladybug. And here is the snake. Let's choose an empty folder, for example the strawberry. Now we write a small program for the green engine. First we instruct the engine to move forward and specify the speed and the acceleration time. Then we instruct the program to wait until the green engine arrives to the ladybug. Once the engine has arrived it must stop. We set up how fast to decelerate it to zero. Then we change the railway switch marked green. Then we start the engine backward, setting up the speed and the acceleration value again. The program must wait again until the green engine arrives to the snake. And it must stop here. Now we set up a little bit slower the acceleration. If we forgot something, we can use insert. Before changing the railway switch, let's turn on the front lamp. And switch it off when the engine stops at the snake. Let's see how it works. When the program is running, it constantly show us where the execution is. Since programming is carried out by only a few simple symbols, animals and colors, even the four five year old kids who were born into our gadget world can excellently manage this task. It is not required to know the alphabet. Let's see some examples on how to control all three engines at once.
Everything begins with a mechanical design. First, we create the control box with the position switch. We develop its interior when the control electronics and the batteries will be located. Then we design the box of the application server, shape the PCB holders and the fan slots on the cover of the box. Raspberry Pi, the front panel with the push buttons and LEDs and the PCBs of the special power supply will also be located there. But the most interesting is the design of the locomotive engine, which contains 23 printed parts. Here all parts must fit together and we also have some plastic components slipping on each other. The small metal bearings will need to fit into place and the plastic wheels will need to be properly logged to the metal shafts. Design is followed by printing the plastic parts, which is a very time consuming task. Nowadays, engineering is worth nothing without electronics, so we have to design the control circuits. And also the printed circuit boards. It looks so nice in 3D. After soldering the PCBs, the next task is assembly. The accurate design and a good quality 3D printing result in all parts fitting together and everything that needs to be separated is indeed separable. And last but not least, what else do we need? Lots of lots of softwares. You can see the statistics here. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share it if you like.